Hi, Andreas from Tuttle here. I recently uh, released a new project. I had been working on a little bit called tbeat.pro. You can find it as URL or in the description. And it's basically, I think it's called like a, a beat maker or something uh, like that. It's basically a, um, a little app that lets you create a beat like this. And then you can play it. And you can add like uh, more beats to it. And you can add. Right, you get, you get that here. It also has like different kits so you can change what kind of sounds you're working with. It's fun, you can uh, copy the URL. So the URL gets encoded with the whole config, so you can just share it with friends and they can load your beat. Uh, so yeah, go and try that, go do that. You can also like go and share it to X if you wanna check out, have people check out your beat. Yes, the URL is a bit long because the whole data is encoded into it. It does get shortened in, in X when you're sharing it. Right. Um, so I released that, people really liked it, got very excited and immediately asked how it's built. So I thought I'll show you a little bit about how I built it. So I've got right here the project loaded up. Um, and it, this is a Toddle app. It uh, is 100% built in Toddle. There is no custom JavaScript code or anything running. It's, it's just Toddle all the way through. Uh, I use a package here uh, called Web Media. Um, and it basically allows you control media playback in Toddle. Uh, so if you have video and or audio elements in Toddle, you can use to control that. But you can also go a little bit deeper and use something called the Web Audio API, which is actually what we use to play like a lot of sounds at the same time and with very little latency, right? Um, so this package kind of got you covered for, for most things you'll need around playing sound in Toddle. Now, I'm not gonna cover too much how this is built because that would be a longer video um, and 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 take some time to explain. And especially if you're new to Toddle, it's probably not the, sim the simplest way to learn it, right? But the basics are like the basics, right? It's it's a bunch of elements, uh, HTML elements. There's a div here. Uh, I'm not using any images. It, it, it does look quite sort of almost realistic, but it's really just uh, like, um, like, um, yeah, gradients and, and, and shadows, right? I use a few of these components. In this case, it's an adjustable dial because it needs to sort of keep track of mouse position and figure out as you're dragging. So again, everything here is built like from scratch. This is bare bone HTML uh, elements you're working with, with standard uh, like DOM events, as it's called. Uh, so it's basically the same primitives as if you were coding it. It's just with Toddle, you don't have to. And then I'm creating these components because obviously you don't always want to deal with low level uh, like HTML elements. You want some powerful components that you can just plop in. So I've created this adjustable dial. I, I have this single button, and this is just because I want to repeat the styling and I don't want to duplicate it a tons of times in my app. So I'm just, I created this single button component um, that takes care of the styling and then you can plop in like whatever you want the content on the inside to be. Um, I'm not going to go too much into the functionality of it just in, in order of time. Like it, it'll be a much longer video. But the, the key here is that I'm using a lot of workflows to break the problem down into smaller bits. So for example, figuring out how to play all of the or do all of this in one go can seem really overwhelming but if you sort of start to breaking those problems down into smaller bits of like okay but what if uh, what if i just have like let's say uh what if i just have these two like just playing one beat is that like how difficult is that and then you start going well actually that's kind of the what created workflow here called play beat and that really is just one action it's like figuring out this play audio, which is from the web audio package, this action, um, well, what does it need? It needs a list of just the URLs for this, right? And you can kind of see how that's done here. It's basically taking all the sounds, these are all the different sounds that are loaded, and it filters out only the one that are checked, right? Um, and again, the point here is not figuring out how all the logic will take too long, uh, but uh, if you're curious, 
um, and you know a little bit about how Toddle works, uh, you can just go to this URL. I'll share it in the description, and you'll load up exactly the view here. You don't need, you don't even need an account. It'll just open it up since it's a public project, uh, and you can browse around and figure out. and And if you want to learn more, you can of course sign up for Toddle. Like if you're completely new, I definitely recommend then checking out our course uh, first week in Toddle. Uh, this is not the best first project to start with. But there's a whole video series to take you through building increasingly more complex products. And by the end of this, you will be able to load this up and understand exactly how everything works, I promise. Um, yeah, and then, I mean, a lot, of, uh, a lot of breaking down workflows to make sure that every little bit is its own workflow. So you don't have to always think of the most complex problem, breaking down into smaller pieces, build workflows that does like one or two things. And then eventually it becomes much, much simpler to think about, okay, how should I actually solve all these things? Right. But um, go check out uh, the project at t beatpro it's like you will in the description. And yeah, go load it up in the Toddle editor to poke around a bit. And if you want to learn more, want to learn how Toddle works, check out our course uh, first week in Toddle. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you found that interesting. I hope it was uh, educational. Um, and yeah, come come check us out. Uh, make sure you join our Discord. There's a lot of people there, including our team, that are ready to help if you have any questions. Uh, and also, uh, please subscribe to this video because we've got more coming if you want to get notified when they come out.